Hey physics lovers, welcome back to Prime Time where today we will be talking about the world of semiconductor innovation. Moore's law has been a cornerstone of chip design and development for decades, but now it's failing. In this video, we'll explore why Moore's law is losing its power in the ever-evolving semiconductor industry and what it means for the future of innovation. So stay tuned and let's dive right in. The invention of Moore's law in 1965, Gordon Moore, then the Director of Research and Development at Fairchild Semiconductor, inadvertently invented the concept of Moore's Law while predicting the future of the semiconductor industry. Moore noticed that the cost of producing integrated circuits was decreasing and the size of the components was halving every year. Based on this trend, Moore predicted that in 10 years, the industry would have twice as many transistors as it had the year before. Little did he know that his prediction would become a reality and the semiconductor industry would continue to adhere to Moore's law for the next 35 years. Moore's law has since become the industry standard, dictating the pace of technological development and spurring rapid innovation. Moore's law has enabled the development of revolutionary technologies such as the internet, smartphones, and artificial intelligence, transforming our lives and changing the way we interact with the world around us. Thanks to Moore's law, we can now enjoy the benefits of technology and enjoy a more connected and efficient way of life. So why is Moore's law declining? The cost of fabrication and inspection equipment is skyrocketing, and the complexity of maintaining even the most basic lithography process is becoming increasingly difficult. This means that even if we could find a way to keep shrinking transistors, it might not be economically feasible to do so. That's why Moore's law is in trouble. It's hitting the physical limits of what's possible, and it's hitting the economic limits of what's feasible. It's no longer just a matter of technological ingenuity, but of financial prudence. It's time to explore other ways of improving computing performance, such as through better software algorithms, multi-core processors, or even entirely new materials and fabrication techniques. In short, Moore's law is in trouble, because the cost of production is increasing, the demand for chips is exploding, and the engineering capacity to meet that demand isn't expanding quickly enough. Moreover, the cost of cooling these chips is increasing, leading businesses to try to extend the life of their current equipment instead of investing in the latest and greatest. That, in turn, means chip makers are bringing in less revenue to devote to R and D, which is becoming increasingly expensive. In the end, all of this is making it more and more difficult for chip makers to shrink transistors even further and keep up with Moore's law. So, what are we going to do about it now? The end of Moore's law will indeed be a major challenge for our society, but this could potentially mark the beginning of an entirely new era of technological development. As we no longer have to worry about cramming more transistors onto a chip, we can now focus on more creative ways to use those transistors. We could start to look at entirely new ways of computing and entirely new ways of thinking about computers we could start to think about ways to use computers to solve real-world problems, rather than simply trying to make them faster and faster. We could start to look at ways of using computers to assist with healthcare and education, rather than just entertainment. The possibilities are endless, and looking at the situation from this angle can be quite exciting and hopeful. So, in answer to the question, what are we doing about it? We're looking at this as an opportunity. We're looking for ways to use existing technology and resources to solve the world's problems, and looking to the future with excitement and anticipation. We're looking for ways to use technology to make the world a better place and to create a more equitable and sustainable future. We're looking at the end of Moore's Law as an opportunity to usher in a new era of technological innovation and progress. The collapse of the evergreen Moore's Law, Moore's Law, the famous prediction that computing power would double every two years, may be dead, but don't worry because its spirit of innovation and progress is still alive and well. Moore's law was never a law to begin with, but rather a self-fulfilling aspiration that drove us to develop new technologies that would double transistor density every year and then every two years. Even though the name of the law might be gone, the spirit of innovation that it represented will live on as we look for new aspirations to drive the next generation of computing technologies. Whether it's quantum computing, machine learning, or even something we haven't even dreamed of yet. Moore's law has left us with the expectation of progress 
and the determination to make it happen. So don't worry about the death of Moore's Law, because its spirit of progress is still alive and thriving. Moore's Law has come to the end of its reign as the reigning champion of semiconductor innovation. But even though its reign may be over, its legacy will live on as an inspiration for future generations to innovate and improve upon the technology we have today. So let's keep pushing forward and see what new breakthroughs we can make in the world of semiconductor innovation. But what do you think? Will Moore's Law will ever make a comeback again? Comment down below and we will see you in our next video.